Hi guys. Hello, welcome. Hello. Welcome everyone. We are live. I see some comments starting to roll in. Fanaf says hi. Nadia, hello, she's excited. Hello to Victoria and Claire, welcome. Um, if there's any kids joining us for this special Among Us event, let me know um, where you're from, let me know your ages maybe. I'd love to see where all the kids are tuning in from. Hi, Sam Sam, thank you for joining me. My name is Chris, and here we are on YouTube Live with Artist Palette Durham Region. Now, I myself, I'm not in the Durham Region. I'm in London, Ontario. Uh, it's a little more southwest of Durham. Uh, Sandy has Emily from Brampton. Welcome to Emily. Calgary, Alberta, age six. Lovely. Great age to start painting. Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Kobe. Hello, Noah and Jenna. Are both 10. Maybe they're twins. Carlene is 13 from Oklahoma. Welcome. Awesome. I assume a lot of us know and play Among Us. That's the assumption. But they're just really cute characters, even if you don't know what the game or you know what these characters are. They're just really cute to do. Colorful. Maybe there's a few um, parents or grandparents joining us. Painting this for a kid or a grandkid would be a great um, birthday present. Uh, I guess Christmas is sort of coming up. You could put um, an Among Us painting on, say, a birthday imitation or a themed birthday party, which would be cute. Hello, Gwen. Brody and Bella and Brooke. Oh, I love the alliteration there. Three years old. That's awesome. I can't wait to see that finished painting. They're going to turn out great. All right, we're going to talk about um, some supplies. Um, what's wonderful about YouTube Live, even though it is live, you can pause. At the bottom of the screen should be a little pause button. So if I mention a supply that you don't have with you, hit pause, go grab it, return and then uh, rejoin. You can even like, you know, set the playback back if you miss a step, you missed my instructions, just set it back a minute or 30 seconds and hear it again. And this video will be up forever. So let's say you're halfway through and you get called away, you can absolutely watch this later tonight, tomorrow, forever. It'll always be on our YouTube page. Let's talk supplies. So I wrote down a little handy note here. We need some scissors. Get a piece of scrap paper or thin cardboard, such as a cereal box. So I've got a little piece of thin, like cereal box or um, granola box. We're gonna make a Among Us character stencil so that all of our characters are the same size. Um, you could use just like regular paper. It's a little harder to trace a thin piece of paper, but if you have something like this, get some of that with some scissors. I'm gonna cut it out to trace. Um, so we'll need something to trace, you know, something to draw with. So I'm gonna use a pencil, or you can use a Sharpie, a marker, pencil crayon, something to draw with. Um, yeah, and then you're also gonna draw on the canvas itself with that pencil or marker, scissors, um, an eraser if you want, squishy eraser, any kind of eraser. Um, I'm gonna have a ruler for helping me draw the lines, but if you don't have a ruler, you can use um, the edge of a, like a straight book or something to help you draw some lines and just eyeball it, kind of go sort of in the middle and sort of in the middle here. You don't have to measure it exactly. A ruler is helpful. And painting supplies. So I've got three paintbrushes myself, big, medium, and then a nice, fine, thin one. 
whatever paintbrushes you have at home. You don't have to have ones that look exactly like mine. This one's a flat, this is a flat, and that's kind of like a nice liner brush. Um, but if you just have, say, round paintbrushes at home, Filbert, fan brushes, uh, maybe you have like one of those little foamy brushes with a little wooden dowel handle. You do that in the background. Just use whatever you have at home. They don't have to be acrylic specific. That's what I'm using. You could definitely get away with probably just two paintbrushes. I could definitely do this whole painting with just these two. The big one just helps me fill in spaces. And then I've got some paint here. Now I'm gonna use acrylic. Um, let's say you have watercolors or maybe you have oils and you're fancy. This is what I'm gonna use, acrylics on my very fancy styrofoam palette, super fancy. I've got white, I've got black, and then I've got my three primary colors, blue, red, yellow. With just these five colors, we can make absolutely any color we want. We can make orange, purple, green, brown, uh, pink, uh, gray, absolutely any colors. You might have at home like pre-mixed bottles or tubes of paint, orange, pink, purple, etc. You can definitely use those. Instead of mixing your own, orange, pink, purple, etc. Just use those. You're a step ahead of me already, but I will show you how I mix them so that maybe in the future you, uh, you run out of your purple and you're like, oh, I can make purple with my red and my blue. So that's what I have. I've got a rag to um, dry my brush, but you can have a paper towel. Paper towel's fine. Rag, a uh, jar of water, cup of water, paper cup of water. Maybe don't use mom's like nice cups. Use it like a junky jar or like a plastic cup. Something not fancy so you don't stain it. And then I've got a glass of water if I get thirsty and then some kind of surface to paint on. So I'm going to demonstrate on this lovely 16 by 20 uh, canvas. You could be using a a uh, piece of paper, like thick paper. There is acrylic paper out there, or just like mixed media paper. You could be painting on wood. Uh, you could be painting on a t-shirt, like a blank t-shirt. A rock, a flat rock. A, uh, what else? Anything, anything you can think of. I've even done paintings on cardboard because I've run out of canvases. You could do it on cardboard. Anything you want to paint this on, a plate. Wouldn't that be cool? Pottery. And then I've popped on an apron, put on like a junky t shirt or a smock or an apron to protect your clothes, put down some kind of plastic sheet, tablecloth. I use an old bed sheet to protect my table. And that's pretty much all the supplies. If you, if you missed a supply, if you need to go grab it, just hit the pause. Hit the pause on the live feed and you can come right back and join me. The easel is optional. I usually just paint flat on the table, um, but to demonstrate for you guys, I have it on the easel. So up to you if you want to have it propped up or flat on the table. Let us rotate these two. So we'll always have this one here to reference. Don't want to fall down. Ooh. And remember, you can do any colors, anywhere, and any theme. So I'm going to do an artist theme because that's what we do. We do art. So I'll do the paintbrush, the canvas, the palette, and the little artist beret. But you could have a completely different theme. It could be, um, if we're thinking birthday party invitation, it could be a cake, uh, a party hat, a present, and... Um, what else goes, a balloon, a balloon on his hat. That could work. <laughs> they have wild things on their hats. Any other theme you can think of, a uh, food theme, uh, animal theme, they have a little kitty cat, little dog on their hats. Or keep it classic with like the classic Among Us hat choices. What are some of the classic hats? Toque? Baseball cap. Baseball cap. There is a little alien thing. Alien thing, okay. An egg. 
Okay, as a hat. Side up okay, 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 okay. I've got two helpers uh, painting along with me, my daughter and her friend. Um, so they're going to paint on a wooden panel just for something different. Wooden panel. So we'll see how theirs turn out as we go. All right, get out your ruler, your pencil. We're going to make lines on our whatever you're using. Whatever the surface is that you're using, you're going to make a line across and a line down. Um, measure it. Figure out where the middle is. You can make a few lines to help you keep it nice and level. Um, you might not be able to see my lines because they'll be thin on a white background. I'll try to draw dark for you. So can the camera see that? I think the camera can see that. Nice dark line there. And of course, down the middle as well. Now let's imagine you have a bigger canvas than me and you want to do six. You could do six, you could do eight. Um, maybe you have a smaller canvas than me, you just want to do two. Absolutely. Whatever you feel like doing. Maybe you're just going to do one, one nice big one. And these lines don't have to be straight. What if you want your lines to be zigzag divisions? It could be zigzag, zigzag. It could be like a curly, wavy line. It doesn't have to be straight. What if instead of the these background colors, you want to do um, like an outer space black background with stars to go with the Among Us theme? You could do that. So really, that is all I need with a ruler for. I don't really need to measure anything else, so the ruler's all done. So we are going to make our Among Us um, little cutout so we can trace it four times. So get out whatever you're using as your tracer. I'm going to use this piece of thin card. Um, you could use your pencil so you can erase and adjust. I'm going to use the Sharpie so you can see I don't think you'd be able to see pencil lines on this brown color, so I'll do it in the Sharpie to show you. Among Us characters are pretty easy. I would start with the head shape, like a round, round dome-shaped head, something like that. Two legs, pretty stubby, chunky legs. There's one. So two legs, there's a bit of a thigh gap there. Two legs, keep them sort of equal, equal shapes, equal signs. And there's like a little line that goes like this. That's not something we're gonna cut out, that's just, you know, for reference. A little, little backpack, I guess it is, on his back. I guess, yeah, an air tank, so if they get um, ejected, they're not instantly dead. No, nope, they, they, they just oh, die. Oh, they're died? Oh, oh, really? They float in space until they lose their oxygen. Oh, boy. It's yep. a very dark game. We're going to do a visor. We kind of have a round protrusion coming out here, and then the visor comes across like this. Of an oval, long oval, sort of like that. And you guys are working with a, a pencil and eraser, so you can erase, adjust, round out the head a little better. The backpack's a little bit rounded, make the legs equally, equally thick and round. So that's going to be my little tracer shape. And we can have it this way, or you can flip it and do it the other way once you've cut it out. So take as much time as you want to draw this, just hit pause, and then we cut it out. So if you need help from an adult to help you cut, grab them, maybe they're nearby, that they can, they can give you a hand. I just like making a little tracer when I wanna make identical shapes of something. So if I'm doing a painting with, say, 
a series of hearts and I want all my hearts to be the same size, I make a little tracer. Scrap paper works okay. This thin card is ideal. A cereal box, granola bar box. And we are still going to do custom hats on these, so we don't need to include the, the custom hats on this tracer. I guess unless you want all your hats to be the exact same. But where's the fun in that? We want different hats to go with our theme. Keep cutting out this little little fine gap in here. That's there we go. Here's my little tracer guy and my thin card. Welcome to Noella and Alana in Alaska. That's awesome. How long are the daylight hours up in Alaska right now? I would imagine pretty long. Let's say you've cut out your tracer guy and it's maybe too big or too small. Just make a new one. Get a new piece of card, trace a new shape, make it a little bigger, make it a little smaller. You can even lay down this one on your new piece of paper, trace around it if you need it bigger. So that seems like a good size to me. So some of them I will trace this way, so they're facing that way, and some I can trace this way, so they're facing this way. Up to you if you want them all facing this way, some other kind of arrangement of how they're facing. Maybe do three facing the same way and then one reversed, and maybe that one's the imposter. And then just take your pencil or a marker or something, and then you're going to trace each each one of these. Now, if you want them to seem like they're floating in space, they got ejected, maybe, maybe at a fun, quirky angle. Trace it at an angle or just straight. Up to you. Um, yeah, I'll trace mine in pencil. Um, I sort of make it right in the center, but a little lower because I want room for the hat. So make sure you have enough room for your hat, especially if you're planning a really tall something on the head. I'll go right here. There's all the outside here. Even all the way around the head, we're going to add the, we'll add the hat on the head. So there's my first one, but we don't get the detail of the, um, the visor and the backpack, so you just add that in. I added the line that shows the body and the backpack, and then, you know, kind of wing it for the visor. Something like that and even that little there's a bit of a a line to show like the belly I guess it would be I added that little line I think you could see my pencil lines I think they're dark enough do it again leaving room for a hat Two, and then I'll do these guys facing, facing their friends. Oh, 
what are some of your favorite colors to play as, or maybe your favorite hat to wear? Let me know. What are your ladies' favorite colors to use? I like the blue mm -hmm. with um, the either like um either uh, like the baseball cap or mm -hmm. like or the and Charles, I think my thing is literally blue with the baseball cap. Blue with the so. same thing. Yeah, that's literally what it always is. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And if she's already taken it, I will. I'm oh, taking, white. Taking blue? I'm white with an egg. Okay. You gotta theme it. Yeah. Color theme. Color theme with the hat. Very fun. Is there any kind of artist related hats in in the game for real? I haven't played it for like two months. Okay. Either of I, but I don't think so. Okay. Well, there should be. Yeah. A little artist beret. I think that would be adorable. A beret. Yeah. A little beret. Is it a beret? It's gotta be a beret. But I know for sure that there's no paint palette paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> I just made those up. Here we go. We've got four Among Us characters. I've got the visors. I mean, the visors aren't identical. Got little backpacks. That's cute. So Jenna likes blue with the little crewmate on top. <laughs> yeah, like a little mini guy sitting on top. I love that one. And Noah likes cyan with the unicorn horn. Oh, I love that. That's fun. Yeah, maybe like you can ooh, unicorn horn. That's kind of artsy. Yeah, change up the hats to your favorite hats, your, your favorite colors. All right, I'm gonna add my hats now. So if you don't wanna do the, the particular hats I'm doing, do anything you want. So there's, there's what I'm doing. I think I'll, I'll stick with the same order of hats. But if you wanna mix up the order, you can. So a handle on my paintbrush, going into sort of the wide part of the paintbrush. And then I've got all the brushes kind of flayed out, the bristles. I don't really need to draw each individual bristle, but just the general shape. So let's see, can we get it in the shot? Here's my little paintbrush on his head. You can look at that example too. Okay, I've got a little, that's a little canvas. It might look like, I don't know, like a pizza box, but I intended it for it to be a canvas. It so looks so. more like a... Like a what? Like a weird, like a flat Amazon box. An Amazon box, okay. It's very flat. Yeah. So I did sort of a parallelogram, you could say, and give it an edge. It does look very pizza box like in this state without like without paint splattered on it. And then I mean I'm not gonna draw the squiggles of the paint yet. I'll just paint this white and then do the squiggles after. Same with like the little stapled edge. You don't need to draw each staple. I can just do that with my black when I do that. So that's really all I'm gonna draw for like my mini canvas. Victoria and Claire say they like a pink, a pink crewmate. Love it. There's a pink one there. All right, I'm doing a little mini palette. If if you like this style of palette, there's different styles of palettes, squares. Um, sometimes I use a, a deviled egg tray as a palette if you wanted to do something like that. Well, let's just do the the basic. Should we do it on a different angle? Like an oval with like a, a little piece missing. There we go. There 
there we go. Mine's like an oval, like a little blob missing. That's where like your thumb would, would go in there, let's say. So if you want to individually draw the little paint blobs, you can. I'm not going to. I'm just going to paint this whole thing white. And then after, I'll blob little blobs of color. Just save a little time. So just, just the shape is fine. And then I've got a little beret look on him, like a, a lumpy a lumpy shape. Maybe it comes down in the middle. That's across his forehead a little bit. Like a little, like, a little stringy. Here's my lumpy beret shape. With a little stringy up in the middle. I don't know what that's for. What, what is that for? That little, like, string that pops up the middle there. For design. Style. Style. Yeah. Design. Yeah, so those are the hats I'm going to do. You can do whatever hats you want. Um, pizza. And um, other food. We were talking eggs earlier. Uh, a banana. Is that a thing? Fruits? I think like a banana peel. Banana peel? Yes. Oh, that's so cute. That would be so cute with, that, with the peel like, open on his head. Any hats you want to do, guys. And he has it on, just clearing away some of this stuff. I'm not going to need my pencil anymore. I'll put that away. Put that over there. Don't need that anymore. Now you have your eraser. You can erase anything you want to adjust. If you, you know, draw something and it's in the wrong position, you can erase it and draw it a little bit over, a little up, whatever you want to do. You can pause while you're finishing your drawing, and then you can resume when you're ready to paint. Uh, so Van asked if the video will be available later. Yes. Yes, it will be available forever. So right after this live is done, the whole video will be up immediately. Right here on YouTube, on Artist Palette Germs page, forever. And you can pause, or rewind, anything at all. So um, I'm going to start by doing the colors of the crew then the backgrounds. Remember, you can do any colors that you want anywhere. If you want to do a pattern, blue, red, blue, red. Do you want to do all pastels? Do you want to do only one color but different backgrounds? Think about those different options. And decide which paintbrush you want to use. So maybe you're working on a smaller canvas on a smaller scale, and it makes more sense to you to use something like this to fill in everything. Maybe you are working quite big like me and you want to fill in everything with a bigger one. Whatever you want to do. Don't let me stop you from switching to a paintbrush that is more appropriate for your painting. And you'll see me using like this medium brush to do like, even small details, but if you want to switch at any point to your teeny tiny brush, do it. So four different colors. I'm not, I'm probably not going to follow these colors. I'll probably do some different colors because that's just how I roll. I like to get my brush wet. What color do I want to do here? I'm thinking, let's do yellow. Any color you want anywhere, why don't we do yellow? So I'm going to just do all over yellow, trying to stay in the lines. If you go outside the line a little, that's fine. That's okay. No one's going to look that closely. And we are doing black outlines later, so that'll help kind of tidy up any wiggly edges. So we're doing a nice, thin, even coat. We don't want any thick globs. If you have thick, globby paint, just smooth it out flat. We want um, the layers to dry so we could do more layers and add details and things. Add the shading. So a nice thin, even coat. The thinner, the better. And then it'll dry so quickly. There's my yellow guy. And yeah, I even went 
I went a teeny tiny bit on the visor, but I'm not worried. I'll cover that up with glue later. So there's yellow. If you don't want to start with yellow, start with any other color. There's my yellow guy. Do the backpack as well. But don't paint like where your hat is going to be. So I didn't paint where those bristles are. There's yellow. Um, let's see. I never did a orange on that one. I would like to do an orange. I'll tell you how I make orange. I get a little bit of red, a little bit of red. Mix it with some yellow. Um, where would I do orange? Right there. So a greater amount of yellow than red. Maybe like three to one or four to one. Gets you a nice orange. And I don't need a whole lot because I'm just doing like one guy. There's a little bit orange. If you want your orange darker, add more red. If it's too dark, you can add some yellow. If you want any of these colors to be more pastel like, you can add some white. There's some lovely orange. And you can always put some on your painting and then if you think, oh, that looks too light or too dark, you can change it up, mix it up, and then paint right on top of what you have there. Put in a nice thin, even coat. And you can definitely follow along this tutorial with markers, pencil crayons, colored pencils, pastels. It doesn't have to be paint. As I mentioned, you could do watercolor, oils, but yeah, you could do anything. Crayons. And I can't wait to see everyone's different different versions of this. That's really the best part. After the event, seeing all the, the fun variations. Okay, there's some orange. Nice, smooth, even coat. You just spread any thick, globby bits. That's pretty good. Maybe you're already ahead of me. Maybe you're already painting your third or fourth character. What color do I want to do next? Maybe like a, I'll do like a light purple or a periwinkle. Yeah, like a lilac color. So purple, if you have like a tube or a bottle of purple, use that because that'll make a nice vivid purple. I'm going to make my own purple. Um, red, so a big kind of scoop of red. A smaller scoop of blue, red plus blue, mix them together. So a little bit of blue, a lot more red, but still just, just a little bit here. I don't need to paint a huge area. So it's very dark, very dark. It looks almost black right now, but we add a little dash of white. So we'll just scoop up a little white, mix that in, and then you kind of see the purple you've made. And you could add more blue to that if you want it bluer. You can add more red to it if you want it to be more of a warm, warm purple. It's kind of nice. You can go lighter if you want it lighter. Let me do a little scoop more white. Any color. That's nice. Oh, lovely purple. Thin, even coat, of course. Almost knock that right over. Okay. 
is a nice even coat of purple. Go right into that little tiny spot of the palette. Okay, what color next? Let's see. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll do like a maybe like a teal color, like a bluey green color, because I just like the look of a bluey green. So I'm going to make um, sort of like a baby blue, light blue. Take a little bit of blue, mix it with some white to make a baby blue. Let's flip this around so you can see it better. There's my baby blue. Okay, and to that I'm going to add just like a, a smidge of yellow. I'm just going to scoop a teeny bit of yellow, a little dot of yellow, add it into that baby blue, and it'll go a little bit green. It'll go a little green. Yeah, minty. It's kind of a minty color if you want it a little bit greener. Add a scooch more yellow. I mean a scooch. Tiny. That's kind of a cute color. Let's try it out on here. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little bit mintier than I was thinking, but I'm not mad at it. Do they have like brown as a color option? No. Oh. Brown. And they also have black, brown, mm -hmm. black. Blue, gray? Black. Um, I don't think gray. You don't think gray. Okay. Well, if anyone wanted to do a gray one, you can do a gray one. What about, do they have like pattern, like polka dot or stripe? Uh, no. No? Oh, they do have so like cool. little outfits, but it costs you like money. Oh, of course. Yeah, but if you buy it on the computer, you get those set for free. Okay. Which is what I get. I see. My mom bought it for like $4. Nice. Yeah, that's how they get you. So I wasn't bothering her for her phone. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's how they get you. There we go, nice even coat, thin even coat, spread out any thick globbies. Yeah, I like my colors. That's kind of cute. And my yellow is already pretty dry, a little tacky. But because we did a thin even layer, it's going to dry quicker than if there was thick globby areas. So that one's pretty good. This one, yeah, that's even tackier. Give it a little rinse. All right, so while those are drying a little bit, we do want to start on the next big area, the background colors of each. And I've done sort of a fun thing as I painted the backgrounds. First, I did a solid color, blue in this case. And then I got some white on my brush and did some like white kind of crisscrossy texture just to give it like a little, a little texture in the background. But you can have yours a solid blue if you want. It could be blue and then you get a little, let's say, green on your brush and then just kind of make little crisscrossy brush strokes to give it a little texture, or just solid, or you could do um, solid, let it dry, and then do polka dots. You can do black for outer space, and then do teeny tiny dots for stars. Anything you want to do. Whatever kind of background, stripes, zigzags, um, swirls, anything at all. All right, and any colors, remember, too. 
any colors. And use whatever brush. So if you have big areas like me, you can use your big brush or your medium. Either or. All right, so I've got a lovely yellow here. Maybe I'll do, I think yellow and blue look nice. Yellow and purple look nice. Maybe orange you could do. Um, if you haven't done a purple or an orange. Yeah, I could purple. do yeah, orange and purple. Like, orange and purple go together like a Halloween kind mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any color combinations you guys want to do. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to do a lovely blue. Have a nice dark blue. But again, thin, even layer so that it'll dry. And just go real close to that, that halfway line, that pencil line. If you go a little bit over, you can always fix that a little bit later when we add this color. But try to stay in the lines. Sometimes when I'm painting like big areas on the white canvas, you get these little, um, these little texture, this little texture, and when it's hard, and it's hard to like fill in. So get a little water, a little, a little water on the brush, not too much, and that'll help you fill in those rough, bumpy textures of the canvas a little bit easier. Or even just get a little water on the brush and then dip to the paint, and that'll help. Thin, even coat. You can switch to like your smaller brush to get inside little, right in here, if I need to get in there, I can switch to my smaller brush. Sometimes I like to turn the canvas if I want to get into like a tricky corner. You can even go upside down if you if you need to. I think I got the exact same color as that one. Nice. Did you add a little white into it? Yes. Yeah. It's got pastel. Is your theme pastels? No. No. My theme is um Just colors. Just colors. A rainbow of colors. My theme is a random theme. Like okay. Whatever. No, yep. you can have any kind of theme. Doesn't have to be artist theme. Okay. <clears throat> so there's my blue background. It's still pretty wet. Still pretty wet all over. It's a little bit messy. There are visible uh, paintbrush strokes. That's okay. And then I'm going to get a little white on my brush. So I probably will just maybe wipe off my brush a little bit. I'm not going to wash it. So there's still a little bit of blue in it. I'm going to get a little white. And then you can add a little crisscrossy marks if you want. If you like the look. If you don't, you can do anything else. I just think it gives it like a fun um, painterly texture is what I call it, painterly. <clears throat> yeah. 
you can kind of see some white, a little bit of like light blue happening because the white and the blue mixed. Put that little rinse. And then pick a new color, new color, new color. Do the same thing, do different things. Anything at all. I'm gonna do, I feel like doing pink. I feel like doing pink with orange. I'll show you how to make pink in case you've, maybe you've never made pink before. Oh, there's a suggestion. You could draw one, um, you know how like they get killed? They, oh yeah, and yeah, they and in they half have, with the bone. Yeah, a half of a guy with like a bone sticking out. It's a little graphic. This game is very weird for like five, for like five year olds. Um, I mean, it's not very graphic. So I've got a little red on my brush. I'm gonna mix it with white. Red plus white is pink. And if you want it, that, like a deeper, richer pink, add some more red. If you want like a baby pink, uh, add some more white. Let's see, is that a good pink? A little redder, a little redder pink. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, testing it out. I'm liking it, so I'll fill in the rest of that. around my little canvas. Now I'm just gonna go really carefully near my wet blue. I'm just gonna go right next to the wet blue and, and try not to smear them together. There could even be like a, a very small gap. If there's a small gap between your pink and your blue, no one's gonna really see that. And that way you won't have them mixing together. Now, if you like having your edges of your canvas painted, if you're on a canvas and you like having this edge painted, do that now while you have this color on your brush instead of trying to remix the color later and not get it quite right. But I generally don't paint my edges. I just leave them as is, a little bit messy. That's okay. That makes it authentic. Authentic, yes. Or artsy. Or um adding really good on them. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, an alternative to that would be to paint your edges a color, like a black color, maybe brown, like maybe as if it's a frame. Or maybe just put a frame. Maybe just frame it. <laughs> and put That's true. Watch it paint on the frame. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cute. Really Go pink, and I will add a little white amongst my pink. It's my pink. Grab a little, wipe that off a little. Grab a little white. Here 
and there and there. I think the messier the better. It looks very artsy. Yeah, little smudges here and there, little white streaks. And we're also going to be doing some splattering too, which will make it look very, very artsy. There's my pink. What should I do over here? Is this dry? Yeah, so that's good. If your shapes are dry, then it's easier to do your background because you don't have to worry about smudging these guys as much. What color? Maybe like a lovely, ooh, I'm thinking like a lime green. Ooh. Lime green would stand with, stand out with that purple. Oh, I like your back. Thanks. Yeah, keep going on your backgrounds and your, it and your characters. It took me like 20 minutes to figure out what happened. Oh, yeah. That's a tough decision. So I'm going to make lime, lime green or like yellow green, just a lighter green. I'm going to get a teeny, teeny tiny bit of blue, like I'm talking the size of a sesame seed with some yellow if you want a very light green like I'm doing. Let's try it out. Ooh, that is very light green. I love it. That really contrasts with the purple, I think. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, a little, a little bit more here. And just be careful near your, near your other wet background colors. Go really close. Erebus says sus. Bonnie says sus. Yep. These guys are all pretty sus. Yeah, which one's the imposter? Which one is the imposter? You tell me. I'm betting. Hmm. I know. It's tough to tell because we haven't seen them in action. I say orange. Orange is sus. Orange is the imposter. It could be. I mean, who is worse? Box. Who wears a? It's not a box. It's a canvas. It's not a box. Who wears a square foot tank? That's very good. It's sus. Red is sus. I don't have a red. I know. Everybody accepts that in that moment. Mm. You're red. Always you, red. <laughs> you better be in luck to get it yet. I just think it's in your face. All else fails. Oh, red. Oh, red. That's mean to red. But what if it actually is? Um, then you're vindicated. Lime green, looking very bright. I'll do the little bits of white here and there again. Pretty lime. Yeah, it's bright. Not the color of that actual lime, but cute. Well, thanks. No problem. I like the color you have. It's it's kind of similar to this color, but just a little lighter. Oh, okay. more of like a magenta. Okay. What oh, little bits of white here and there? I went a little heavy on that one. 
if you maybe put too much white, throw some green back on there, cover up some of it. Hernan says, am I the imposter? Are you? Am I? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like murder wink, where like one person's the murderer and you like wink at someone um, to like, kill them. Like that um, game with the frog where you go. There we go. Okay, I've got one more background color to do. What color will it be? Maybe like red? I don't know red on this I yet. know which one would be perfect. What? Um, you should put like a dark purple. I mean, this is kind of dark purple. But I have zero red here. Yeah. I'm doing red. But the boop. Too late. I already decided. <laughs> it's red. Boop. So my red is a little bit pink coming out of the bottle. So I usually add a little a bit of yellow if I want like a like a fire truck red. It's a very subtle difference. I, I can see the difference, but it just makes it a little more hard to fire see. truck and a little less candy apple. I mean but red is red. Bonnie says they'd love to paint but don't have the materials. Well, Bonnie, this video will be available forever. You can do it in the future when you've got some supplies, or you can follow along using anything. Pencil crayons, colored pencils, crayons, um, maybe you have some colored Sharpies, pastels, anything at all. But if you do pick up some supplies in the future, you can always find this video again. Artist Among Us on Artist Palette Durham Region. I can I can see the poster for the video game now. Artist yeah. Among Us. Artist Among Us. What kind of um, tasks would they be doing? Sculpt paint paint. sculpt this, paint this. Find the missing canvas. Ooh. Ooh, mixing colors. So yeah. Just like what makes green. Yeah. Go to the art store. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of paint on your hands, and you have done the least amount of painting among us. <laughs> You can go wash if you want to go wash. Just don't get any on the chairs. I'm looking at all of your paintings. Yeah, no rush. No rush. What's the theme of your hats? Everything. Oh, the devil horns. Got devil angel. Angel. Uh, we can your, go your, your, your hair will just yes, disappear. I'm gonna retrace. And Sophia, what's your? I've got theme? A, I've got a blue one with a top hat. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my imposter. It's going to be red, and okay. it's not cut in. Ooh. So where it sit. Where it is very sus. Uh, no hat. Uh, like is no hat an option? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. We'll get Magenta um, is a plunger. And plunger. I don't know yet which. Plunger. I would not want the plunger hat. That's better there's also super. toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised you're okay, There's my one. red with my teal color. I'll add a little white, but I don't want to add too much white on this one because I don't want it to be too pinky. Let's see if I can do it kind of lightly and not make too much pink. What color do you think I should do? Orange. 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 I'm going to make it 
pink, an orange ring one. Okay. Oh. Oops, orange character with one background. No, that's, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Cause like I think colors are cool when you add like random. Okay, it's a little white on my red. It did start to look a little pinky. That's okay. I wouldn't add blue to orange. <laughs> if you yeah, add blue and orange, that's brown. I'm not going to add that. I'm going to add like this. All right. So our Among Us characters should be dry. So we'll add the the shaded part of them. They have like a curvy shape and it's shaded on the bottom part. So I'm probably going to use my medium brush. So whatever color you chose for each of your guys, you need a darker version of that to do the shaded part. So light blue, dark blue, uh, yellow, kind of like a muddy yellow, light green, dark green, light pink, dark pink kind of thing. And if so, you have black, there's no way to make a dark Yeah, color. I know. If you have a black one, then it's just, just going to be all over black. So I, my I yellow, that. my yellow, I'm probably going to add a scooch of orange with my yellow, just a little, uh, maybe a teeny tiny bit more. Yeah, that's slightly darker. So I just need to make a curvy shape. I thought you said curvy. Like yeah. The game. In Dreamland. Yeah. Yeah, so there's my curving shape. So all below that line, it's the slightly darker Color. So it's tough to see on the yellow because yellow is quite light. The curving shape, and then I'll also do a little bit of a shadow on the backpack, the air tank. Kind of looks like he has a very long beard. Yeah. Okay, here's it a little closer. That curving shape and then the backpack. And below that is slightly darker. The shadow. And we're going to do that for all of them. I'm talking with the paper in my mouth. <laughs> okay. So here we have an orange, so I just want like a darker version of the orange, so I can add a little bit more red to my existing orange, and that will darken the orange. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's, that's a little dark, what I want to do. So I'll do that same curving, curving shape. And anything below that turns a little darker. And again, nice thin, even layer. Thin and even. We do want this to dry so we can add um, lines around it. I'll do some shading on my backpack. There we go. So I leave a little bit of the backpack, the original color. Darker everywhere else. Right there. If yours is even more subtle of a difference than mine, that's actually nice. That's good. A nice subtle color shift. Okay, so I've got a nice, that's pretty dark purple as it is. So I'll just take some blue and add it to the same purple that I used earlier. And adding some blue should darken it enough to be my shadow. Let's see. Um, I'm going to add a little red to it too. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I've got so much paint on my hand, it's chipping into my orange. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's a slightly darker purple. I added a little more blue and even a little more red. Thin, even coat. See the the darker shade there. On the backpack, air tank, and then we're gonna make one more shadow color. See, I've got that, I've still got that little bit of teal I had earlier. I can darken that with some blue, like a little bit of blue to make it just a scooch, a scooch darker. Tiny bit of blue. Tiny, tiny. I'm adding little bits at a time. So I don't want to go too dark. Test it out. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of yellow too. Oh yeah. Yeah, adding a little bit more blue, a little bit more yellow, so that it's still kind of greenish, mintish. That's a good color. Let's finish it off. Shape. Thin, even coat. I'm being careful of my wet red. Don't want the wet red mixed in. And I'll do my little backpack and I've done the shadows. Yeah, so now each of my characters is two toned. My skin can't unfill the beds. Yeah, it's like a five o'clock shadow look, but once we get some black lines and stuff, it'll be okay. Okay, um, I need to do the visors, visor, visor. I do a light blue visor, then we'll add the white later, we'll add the dark blue later. So baby blue is kind of what we're going for here. If you still have baby blue on your palette, use that. Or make some, I've got some blue, and I'll mix it with some white. Let's go right over here. Baby blue or like medium blue. Just not too dark, not too light. Because we want to be able to add a white highlight and we also want to be able to add a darker shade for the, the shadow. And you know what I'm going to say, thin, even coat. Nice and even, no thick globs. Of a baby blue. I mean, if you want to invent your own visor color, you can. pink visor, sure. Gray visor, why not? If you have some silver paint, make a silver visor. Whatever you want. Or if somehow you have a clear paint. Well, clear, clear, clear would just make it like shiny white. It's just yeah. really white. Blue with pink. Ooh, make it like glossy. Yeah. Then it stands out. Mm -hmm. What about glitter paint? 
Ooh. White cushion. Oh, like pearl? Yeah. Pearlescent pink. Okay. And more visor here. Holographic pink. Mmm. Plus shimmers in the pearlescent. There's my visors. Now I am going pretty quick because I am an experienced painter. So if you, you know, haven't done all your visors or you're still working on the shadow, the shade of each character, just pause. Remember, we can hit pause at any point and you can catch up to me. So don't feel pressured to, you know, keep pace with me. So Pei Chen added all kinds of stuff. Unicorn hat, ghosts, oh, interesting. And then a dead body, like a dead crewmate. Yeah, you can add whatever you like to these. All right, so now that we have the visors, everyone has individual hats. So paint them the colors you want to paint them. If you've done completely different things than I've done, do the colors that are appropriate for your hats. You could even change some of these. Like you don't want your beret to be black. You want a purple beret. That's fine. Um, you want a orange paintbrush, a black paintbrush. You can do that. Do whatever you want. I'm going to do a pretty, I'll, I'll, I think I'll stick with these colors from the examples. I'm going to do brown. So brown's a bit tricky. Um, an easy way that I do brown is orange plus a little bit of black. So I still have a little orange left over from earlier. I'm just getting it a little black. I mean a little. Mix it with the orange. And I just need a little because I'm doing the handle of the paintbrush. I'm not doing a huge thing. And it goes a little bit brownish. I can add a teeny tiny bit more black. You could add some white if you want this to be like a lighter brown. So here's a little brown color I've made. Orange plus black. Now orange, of course, is the little bit of red with a lot more pur uh, purple. <laughs> red plus yellow gives you orange. So if you don't have orange on your palette already. And then add a teeny bit of black. Try that out. And I added a little tiny bit of white for my paintbrush handle. It'd be really cool if you made one like a ghost. Because mm. when you die you turn into a ghost. And a little ghost? Mm. Are they kind of like see-through? Yeah. Okay. So you can make yeah. it like a little like white paper. Yeah, like hazy. You can also put different expressions. Oh, they have expressions? They don't have mouths. No, I mean like, like the, the visors in the lot like, like Among Us animations. Hmm. Like their their visors go down so they're like confused. Okay, okay. I'm like doing a little bit of brown on the edge of my canvas. You can have your canvas like all white if you want. I just did a little brown edge just to give it a little more definition, a little more interest. Brown canvas edge. I thought you were talking about the actual canvas. Oh, I yeah. could give this canvas a brown edge later. Okay, here's my brown. I'll do my other colors. I've got a little gray on my paintbrush. Uh, gray is a little bit of black. A little bit of black with some white gives us gray. Okay. 
And this is that metal part on a paintbrush right before the bristles. Kind of like cl clamping the bristles together, metal. So, oh, little brown, then gray, and then I'll do the black bristles. Okay, what else? I can do, yeah, I can do the black bristles, I can do the canvas, the palette, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do, I'll finish off this paintbrush. Black. How do you make lime green? Yeah. I did a tiny, tiny bit of blue, like the tiniest speck of blue, yeah. like the size of a sesame seed. And then I added a bunch of yellow, okay. like half of that. Then just then just then do a little dab on your plate. Yeah, clean that off. Get a bunch of yellow. Okay. See? See how like the blue really goes a long way. A lot of blue yeah. goes a lot of way. There's my um, paintbrush bristles kind of all flayed out. But if you want yours more, more tidy, more straight, that's fine. Uh, Paige Chen asks if I have pets. Yep, I've got four cats. Can you name all of them? Well, I can name all my, my cats. Do you guys have any pets at home? If you guys are taking pictures later, you can have like your pet in the photo standing with you and your painting. I'd love to see that. I love pets. Give you some white. I'm going to paint my, my canvas white. Even though it's already white, I just want to paint it white so it has the same um, texture. White paint versus white canvas texture even though it is a canvas. I guess we could leave it canvas textured. But there it is, paint it white. I'm gonna paint my little palette down here white as well, but it could be any color palette. You want brown, brown could also be a normal palette color. I think mostly palettes are neutral colors so that you can you know, see the different colors on it. So maybe that's why we don't see a blue palette, a green palette as much. There's my white, thinly applied, thin, even layer. And what am I doing? A beret. Do I want to do a black beret or a different color beret? A gray beret. That rhymes. That would like stand out better. It might. I'm. I am gonna do a black beret. So I kind of want to keep it similar to the original here. It looks like a black jelly bean on his head. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe just a regular bean. A regular bean, okay. Is there like black bean? Sure. The beans are all the same. Mm, and it depends on the bean. Let's think about like green beans versus like pinto beans. And edamame beans. Don't even get me started on lima beans. There's my little beret. Very cute. I feel like we've been doing this for four hours already. No. Silly. Well, we're just getting down to the details. It's, it's not much longer, guys. We've been doing this for an hour and 20, looks like. 
Yes, I'm getting right down to the detail. <laughs> Just starting on um, the background. That tone, that tone emo kid says, I wish I could send you money. Well, wait till the end of this tutorial. I will put my tip link in there if you do want to send me a tip. Nicole's kids are already done. That's awesome. That's awesome. They raced ahead. Okay, so I'm going to add my squiggles on my canvas. You could make a little mini painting if you wanted, or just have some artistic squiggles. I just imagine somebody like putting a Da Vinci like painting like on a that. little Mona Lisa up on here. Yeah. That'd be so cute. I'm just doing squiggles of different colors. Blobs. It's um, maybe it's a Jackson Pollock painting. We need all those drippy, drippy, splashy paintings. And I'll do green. Yeah, any colors you want on this. Um, blue. And let's not forget the colors on our palette. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, there's discussion about a wig. Whose wig? Whose wig are we talking about? Because this isn't a wig, it's my hair. Not I think her. they're Among Us characters. Oh. Could be. Could be. There's some red on my palette. Use all the colors that are already on your palette. Put it on this palette. Orange. Oh, that looks like a miniature palette of your palette. Yeah, kind of, except this is the styrofoam container. There's yellow. How long have you been using that styrofoam container? Oh, very long. Is it heavy? It's so heavy because there's like dried, thick layers of paint. Once it gets like, to the top, you should like cut it in half. Yeah, cut it and see all the different layers. They're just going to be one huge block of blue. Like the same I always colors. put the blue in the corner. I always put the yellow in the middle. Switch it up a bit. That's true. Um, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. It would be so hard to peel that off. No. <laughs> I feel like like peeling a 10 pound brick off of the road. There's my little palette. Um, yeah. I need to put a couple more colors here. Let's see purple. And ooh, pink. I don't have any pink yet. Subscribing right now. Awesome. Yeah, guys, subscribe to our page and you'll get notifications of when we're going live. Oh, that's a very dark pink. We want that. We want light pink. That's cute. I like that palette. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to add my um, highlight to each little visor and then my shading to each visor. And then it's just a lot of black outline details after that. So if you get ahead of me, you can start on black outline details. Um, so the purple guy mm -hmm. is using the yellow guy's mm -hmm. paintbrush. Mm -hmm. The paint on orange guy's okay. canvas. And Cyan is watching there being an artistic guy. Okay, maybe he's a teacher. He's a painter. Oh, yeah. He's grabbing the brush, putting it on his head. So Thank this you. style of highlight is a little bit messier, a little bit uh, blurrier, painterly. This is a little more crisp, just like a swoosh of white as the highlight. Either way, a little white as the highlight, and then a little darker blue along the bottom as the shadow. It's the kind of part to see out of the dark blue. Well, it's just the it's just the effect. It's not actually darker along the bottom. It's kind of like the wearing hazmat suit. 
Yeah. Yeah, you kind of want your suit to be airtight. It looks like the um the yellow guy looks like he has hair. <laughs> the paintbrush. All right, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna launch into doing all my black outlines. So outline everything, your hats, your visors, everything. Black outline, so I'm gonna use my thin brush, of course, nice and thin. I like to add water to my black paint to make it just a little bit more um, fluid and spreadable. So if you add a little water, just kind of dip and mix dip and mix. Not super runny. And then I like to twirl my brush. I'm twirling my brush in the paint so that when I take it out of the paint, it's kind of a nice pointy tip. If you twirl it as you're loading it, it'll kind of bring the bristles together. And if you need to steady your hand more for fine lines, bring this closer to you. Maybe rest your hand on a dry part of the canvas, and then you could outline a little easier. And it's okay if your outlines aren't perfect. Mine are not gonna be perfect. Yours can't possibly be perfect. An alternative to the paint outlines would be, bring back that black Sharpie, outline it with Sharpie. That would be a little more, um, maybe easier, maybe a little more consistent. Sharpie outlines. A little, little bit of detail on my paintbrush, like a little hole in the handle. Maybe I can hang up that paintbrush. Any little lines. Pardon me. Whew. That was a good one. <laughs> was it that, that funny? It was that funny. Scared me so. I'm sorry. Her, her face made me laugh. Gosh. Didn't mean to scare you. Apologies to anyone whose volume was real loud. A nice light pink. Nice. I like a nice light pink. The theme for my backgrounds are like pastel. So, okay. I'm probably going to need some more light. Okay. Um, I mean, there's some light there, there's some light there. I've got light on the shelf behind me. Got a whole of humongous thing on the There, there's my first um, character outlined with black. You can see my lines aren't perfect. There's little lumpies, there's thick parts, thin parts. It's all good. So I've outlined, I've included the line between the backpack and the crewmate. So you can see the difference there. That little line, I like the belly, outline the visor. One down, three to go. Where do I go next? Over here. Let's try. Me and Chelsea were the opposite. Her oh, background cute. is blue and her one is blue. Blue and pink go nice together. I can see why you chose those. There's my little canvas. I'm going to make little 
little short lines that are like staples in the in the frame. The frame should actually have staples in it. Well, this one's stapled on the back, so look. Oh, staples yeah. on the back, see them? It's like it's made out of this material. Yeah, and it wraps around. So in this one, I just put some staples on the side because some might have that on the side. I'm excited to um, color my hat. Good. So I've got many ideas. Not to make a very dark blue top hat. And... Oh, a top hat. That's a good idea. I'm happy I love the white one uh, with no hat because mm -hmm. I didn't know what color was going to make it, so I could have made it. To make like a little bone or something. Oh yeah. Or like a some sort of white thing. Uh, snowball, snowman. Hmm. You think there's an actual snowman? Oh, really? That's cute. Oh yeah, and there's also like a little pet you can have. Oh really? So, like, I could have drawn like a tiny little. And they just follow you around? Yeah, yep. there's like a one-eyed dog. And... Ooh. As long as it's like set in space. What about a cat? Uh, I don't think there's a cat. But there's like, there's um, an alien you can put on your head, and an alien you can have a, a pet. Okay. Oh, and there's it. number two all outlined with my little, my little canvas. Oh, there's a little bit of brown in my pink. I'll just blend it out, make it work. God, I'm so quiet. Hmm. Everyone's focused on lines. Yeah. It does take a lot of attention to do lines. These are looking good. Isn't that cute? I am not getting on. Well, no, I'm looking at. I'm not looking at you. Well, I've just got a little white bubble. Oh, could we make like speech bubbles? Do they ever have like speech bubbles? Um, no, but they talk and chat and there's like bubbles there. Okay. You could make a speech bubble. You could make a speech bubble. Yeah, they don't, they're not allowed to talk. Oh, okay. Okay. Unless you have like a mod for you to add where like you can talk to other people. I think if I wanted to make this like a birthday present, I would make a little speech bubble bubble on one of these guys and they'd say happy birthday. Or you could like put a little thing at the top like a band and mm -hmm. say like happy birthday with like space theme. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's my purple dye all outlined. Unicorn girl, thanks for your kind words. last guy to outline. I mean, my beret is black, so I'm not going to outline it in black. I might fix this a little, a little bit. But if it was a different color, I would outline the beret. The outlining is the most tedious part, but it makes it look really sharp, I think. Makes everything kind of pop a little bit. It's hard because you gotta do it slow and your hands like pull like shape. Oh yeah. 
be messed up a little. A little. But then if you messed up, then you remember painting it forever. I don't mind the little the little happy accidents. We're also gonna be splattering some paint on this, so it's gonna be either it might get covered up or just the paint splatter will be distracting enough that we don't look at the the little boo-boos. You could strategically place some splats over in awkward areas. Ooh, that riser is wobbly. Chelsea's den so she's just like walking around. Have you signed it? No, I'm not there to see that. I'm still waiting for the splats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outlines. Um, I am going to do some splatters. Logan's asking about imposters. Maybe Logan's the imposter. I'm looking at you, Logan. Okay. Yeah, so there's my elements. You can add other other things. Maybe this um, is for a present for someone. You want to put their name on there somehow. You could put like someone's name here, here, maybe like a family. Their names here would be kind of cute. I mean, they could be, they could hold stuff, right, guys? They can hold like, can they hold stuff? No, they don't have hands. What? Apparently, it was probably if they're in a hazmat, so they would have it. Oh, okay. But like, well, I mean, you can make him a little hand if you want him to hold, I don't know, a bunch of flowers, balloons. Uh, well, how do they do the tasks if they don't have They, hands? they bang their heads <laughs> against the wall. Ooh, Logan's acting pretty sucks. What is he saying? Um, well, I, I was looking at Logan. And he said, me, I, I am. And then a little, a little emoji. Could be. Not, not going to influence anyone's votes. All right, so I do want to do some splats. This is still pretty wet down here. This one's pretty dry. Um, if you're going to do splats, make sure you have some kind of tablecloth down, maybe an old junky towel. Um, and definitely maybe give a, a heads up to mom or dad that you're about to do some splats because we wouldn't want um, paint on the walls kind of thing. So we're going to do controlled splats and I'll show you how to do those. Um, but maybe mom or dad would prefer you to do splats in the backyard or in the grass. I mean, you could take this outside to the grass and do some splats. You don't have to do it indoors. Okay. Um, for my slot, I'm going to lay it down, and then I'll angle the camera as much down as I can to show you. Um, move away anything you don't want to get paint on. So I'm going to like move this like away. I mean, if more splats went on it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay. I would move away the computer, but you need to fit it. Mm, yeah. Move this away. Just be careful. I, I will be careful. Move this Let's angle down so you can see what is happening. I mean, that's not that's not the worst. I think you can still kind of see what's going on. Wait. It looks like it's more light. Oh, is that paint? Okay. Um, what's a good angle? Maybe like that. After we're done the splats, um, we are going to um, look at some upcoming events. So don't go away. Um, so I get my paintbrush kind of wet. Um, do I want to use a big paintbrush or my medium? If you want big splats, maybe use a bigger brush that'll hold more paint. If you want medium splats, use a medium. What colors? I'm going to start with maybe some. Yellow, I'm going to mix some yellow and white together, but with a lot of water. Watery paint is the key here. Watery paint. So I hold the paintbrush in, in one hand. 
and I'm going to use my finger of the other hand, and I'm going to lightly um, slam the paintbrush against my finger, but kind of, you know, where I want the splats to land. So. Get more water on my brush to kind of make the paint splattier. So you can go like all over or, you know, have yellow near the yellow, have orange near the orange kind of thing, or, you know, just have green over here, whatever splatty theme you want. I'm doing yellow near my yellow just because I wanted to. So that's, that's like a good amount. Chelsea is putting red. Red splats, okay. Ooh, blood, yes. If someone has has been uh, killed. Okay, what color do I want to do next? Make some green. But the key is extra water. Extra water in the brush. Really soppy paint. Okay, what do I want to do? Green? Maybe over here. Lightly slamming my finger. So you can kind of aim, sort of, but it kind of goes like I got some green over here. That's okay. There we go. Green. Yeah, I got a lot of green over there. That's all right. I want to do like baby blue. Baby blue. Splatting it all over. White and blue and water. Okay, maybe look over here. Oh, yeah. Red, oh, red splatter is just saying that it's the imposter. Oh, okay. That's um, the imposter. She has a halo, so. I'm, I'm mm. very innocent. Very innocent. Okay. <laughs> what color next? Um, do we even like white splatter? I haven't, I haven't done like white as a splatter color before, really. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Should we jump that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, white splatters kind of cool. Never done white as a splatter color. My white's a little bit grayish because my water's quite gray. That's all right. There we go. I like that. So I would leave this flat to dry. If you prop it up now. Some of these drips might just run down, and maybe that's a look you want. You could try that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it down uh, for now. Let it dry a bit. Okay, let's um we can whoops things are falling. the computer, my green paintbrush fell on top of it. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Rogue paintbrush. That's part of the look now. Yes. <laughs> so we'll leave that to dry. Where's the first example? Here it is. Um, so we do want to sign it. Where's my tiny brush? Let's maybe do that one up here. <laughs> oh, I can sign it now. You can use your initials, you can do your whole autograph. You could add the year. You could add your age. I'm not going to add my age. There we go. There's my, put it in the bottom corner, my initials. Do your whole signature. Um, some people like to sign the edge right here. Instead of the front, you could sign the back. Um, but yeah, put your age on there if you want to do that. It'd be better the to put year. your age if like, you're a kid. Because if you get like, famous in the future, it'll go on a museum and be like, yeah, famous person. I mean, adults can put their age too, but 
how we really want to broadcast that. So let me show you some um, upcoming uh, events with me if you like my teaching style. Uh, you want to join me for a future event, please do. I've got some stuff behind me here. So my next upcoming free event here on YouTube Live is a watercolor event. You can use watered down acrylic paint if you don't have any watercolors at home. Um, it's called Turtle Splash Watercolor, uh, September 2nd, I believe. I'm going to say September 2nd. Uh, this one's a free event here on YouTube Live, so please join me for that one. Yeah, watercolor and like black pen or black Sharpie or black marker, something, some kind of pen or marking device. So that's the next free one. And then I'll show you some of the paid events. So we do, uh, we do enjoy putting out at least one weekly free event for everyone. Uh, but really the bread and butter is our paid events on Zoom. They're so much fun. It's a more intimate setting. You're with the artist and you can talk back and forth. You can show us your art. You can get tips um, in progress. Um, it's just a nice little environment. And you get the recording of the event uh, included in the ticket price. So this one's coming up um, the 16th, September 16th. It's a Thursday, a paid ticket event on Zoom. Go to our website to get a ticket. It's artistpalettedurham.com. Uh, this one's called Cozy Fox Watercolor. And I'll be teaching that one. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Where should I put this over here? I don't want to get it splattery. Um, an upcoming acrylic event, a paid event on Zoom is this one. Uh, pumpkins and a field mouse up there on kind of like a barn board background texture there. Cute stuff. This one's coming up on Zoom September 23rd, so um, about a month from now, a little under a month from now. Tickets on our website. Uh, Kayana asked about drawing events. Yes, we do also offer drawing events, like graphite pencil drawing events. That's with our host, Karen. She's got loads of cute fall-themed drawing events coming up. Um, yeah, free ones and paid ones as well. Here's another upcoming paid event on Zoom with me, Autumn Cat. The cat just enjoying uh, like a whirlwind of leaves. He's so cute, very colorful very autumn. This one's coming up on Thursday, yeah, Thursday, September 30th. Please uh, join me. That's, that's what I had to show you for upcoming events. Uh, I mentioned earlier I do accept tips if you wanted to send me a couple bucks because you really enjoyed this class here today. I really appreciate that. Um, the tips I get go right back into art supplies so I can keep making you guys free events. Um, if you don't feel like giving me a tip today, no worries. Maybe in the future, you want to support me by buying a ticket to one of my paid events. That's another way to support your favorite artists online is to get a ticket to one of their paid events. Lots of fun in those um, smaller Zoom sessions. And uh, yeah, we can chat more, we can answer your questions live. Let's see, Logan says I should do a Pokemon event. Ooh. You can Ooh, make like, I totally um, do that. You can make it like this, mm -hmm. but with different Pokemon. It could be, could be. You guys can make your own characters. You could do uh, Pikachu, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, the other one. What's the other one? The fire one, Charmander? Charmander. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. And how do we do for time, guys? A little under two hours. That's that's perfect. That's kind of what I plan. Um, if you guys have any questions about this one, about upcoming events, um, maybe a question about watercolors or acrylics, go in the chat there. Put uh, put your question down. I'd love to to answer your question right here before I sign off. If there's any questions I missed up above. Yeah, like and subscribe, guys. Go to Facebook, Artist Palette Durham on Facebook. Like us there and you can get um, updates on events coming up. 
what else? A lot of talk about a wig. Where did that come from? Maybe somebody said in chat that the thing has a wig and now everybody discusses that. I do have a very big bun today. That's all, that's all my hair. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, there's that tip link, uh, kristenartist at hotmail.com for e-transfers or paypal.me slash kristenartist. You can call me Chris, you can call me Kristen. It's kind of spelled like a funny way, Chris10. If you want to email me a picture, you can email me. Um, but where I'm going to post in the event on Facebook um, is where you can see like a lot of other people's work. So after we're done this, we're going to go to Facebook to this event and I'll make um, a discussion post. We can all post all of our photos. I especially love um, seeing smiling kids' faces holding up their, their paintings. That's the best. I love those ones the best. I'd love to see that on the Facebook. I'm not seeing a lot of questions popping up, guys. Well, I've done my job then. What else can I show you? <laughs> you, guys make, you, guys, you could show them to okay. Chelsea. Oh, we have to look at Chelsea's and Sophia's. You're very right. So here's Chelsea. She's got her little initials down there. We have the same initials. Like an angel, like a demon, like a party goer. And then what's this guy doing? Working out? Like no. a sweatband? Yeah. Could be like a sweatband. It was meant to be a leaf crown, but I don't want to help. Oh, okay. you know, and this is where I accidentally got, um, I knocked her paintbrush and it hit there. Tell, her, tell them about the... Oh, this is the imposter because it's like red splatter? Yeah, and all the other ones. Oh, okay. Oh, like, like stop versus go? Red versus green? You can't really see the green on the purple one. Cause it's kind of well, yeah, there's like green on green. So that's a cute different color scheme and different hats. Let's see here. And are you done with yours, honey? No, I haven't. Can we just show them the progress you've made so far in your yes. color choices? Okay. Sophia's the diligently. Black one is wet. This one's wet. Okay. So she's got some different color ideas here, different hat ideas. I like the plunger. I like the top hat. That's going to turn out really cute. Can't wait to see that finished, honey. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. Posting a picture. Excellent. Uh, paid events kid friendly. Um, yes, um, it might be a little bit more advanced for a kid in the paid events, um, but there's, yeah, it's it's um, it's still step by step, easy steps, easy shapes, um, and you also get a recording as well. So if you can't make the live event and you'd rather work off the recording, um, then you can go a bit slower pace because you can pause. But yeah, yeah, we can definitely have kids painting along uh, on any events. Yeah, there's not really any mature themes, if that's what we're worried about. <laughs> All right, well, almost a little bit under two hours. That's pretty good. This is drying. Oh, it's pretty dry. I can kind of tilt it up. So that's how my splats turned out. Bigger ones, smaller ones. It was so much fun. This was so fun teaching you guys this. Colorful, bright. That's kind of my my uh, vibe. Aesthetic. My aesthetic. Good word. All right. I don't see any more questions. Have a lovely rest of your evening, guys. Um, maybe we'll see you in an upcoming paid Zoom event or an upcoming uh, YouTube live event. Take care. Happy painting. Bye now. Can I? Can I do my graphic and the